Hi, my name is Patrick Carter, and I am a student at Kennesaw State University in the Masters of Education in Instructional Technology program. This is my capstone presentation, which is titled Increasing Teacher Confidence with Technology Through the Use of Microsoft OneNote. I began the work on this project in December 2019 and completed the work in May of 2020. I created this project because after examining the context of McClure Middle School, it was determined that there was a need for teachers to learn how to use a multifunctional Web 2.0 tool that promotes collaboration and communication amongst teachers and students. It was determined through conversations with teachers that there was a need for a technology tool that could be used in teacher collaboration sessions and also a tool that teachers can use in their classroom to provide meaningful feedback to students and to give them a chance to actively engage with their peers. I used research from Jim Knight to help support many of my instructional decisions throughout this project. Knight states that effective instructional coaches collaborate with teachers to get a clear picture of current reality, identify goals, pick teaching strategies to meet those goals, monitor progress, and problem solve until the goals are met. Teachers have expressed specifically in the sixth grade reading department at McClure Middle School that they often felt overwhelmed and lacked confidence with effectively integrating technology into their classes. Teachers indicated that they wanted to learn how to use a multi-purpose tool instead of trying to learn how to use multiple tools at once. In 2018, teachers at McClure Middle School became Microsoft Innovative Educators Certified. Teachers receive professional development throughout the school year on all of the apps that are available in the Office 365 suite. OneNote was a tool that was discussed in the professional development. However, teachers indicated that the training felt rushed and that they still didn't feel confident in effectively integrating the tool into their classrooms. The teachers felt that with more direct small group coaching and in-depth interactions, they would feel more confidence in using the tool. When I began to design the plan for the capstone project, the overall goal was to increase teacher confidence with using technology and to provide teachers with coaching on a single tool over the course of the semester. Over the course of the project, the teachers in the sixth grade reading department at McClure Middle School participated in a series of workshops that provided them with in-depth tutorials on how to use OneNote in both the classroom with students and within the reading department for planning and collaboration. I wanted to ensure that teachers did not feel that the workshops were being rushed, as they indicated that was an issue they had with the school-wide professional learning from the previous school year. I decided that for my workshops, I would focus on one specific aspect of OneNote at a time. The topics of the workshops included using Microsoft OneNote in professional learning communities, using Microsoft OneNote for student collaboration and instruction, and using the Microsoft Forms add-in within OneNote to formatively assess student learning and understanding. I also made sure to set up extra times where teachers could schedule a one-on-one -on -one session with me if they felt they needed extra support after the initial whole group session. In addition to times being established following the workshops for teachers to sign up for one-on-one -on -one training, I provided additional resources in a shared Office 365 folder to support teacher understanding. I provided screencast presentations going over the PowerPoints delivered in the workshops, the sample OneNote notebooks that were created for both the PLC collaboration session and the student instruction session, and also a frequently asked questions handout that covered the basic questions that may come up after completing the workshop. The effectiveness of this capstone project was evaluated in several ways. First, throughout the duration of the project, I engaged in numerous one-on-one -on -one conversation with each participant to gauge how they felt in terms of comfortability with the material presented in each workshop. I was able to gain feedback from the conversations on how to proceed in planning for the next workshop. 
In addition, I also observed the participants during the sessions when I gave them time to practice using OneNote on their own. I was able to see through these informal observations what participants were struggling with and what areas they were succeeding. Like when I teach a group of middle school students, I used information from the observations to guide my instructional practices and decisions. Finally, after the project was completed, I asked participants to complete a follow-up survey to determine what they found most beneficial from the workshops and how they might like to use OneNote in the upcoming school year. The results from the survey gave me an understanding of the overall effectiveness of the project and what participants liked within the trainings and what areas they wanted extra support with. Throughout the course of the different workshops, I shared with the participants various resources that would help give them a better understanding of the lessons being taught at each session. For each session, I provided participants with the PowerPoints, a screencast video going over the PowerPoint, a frequently asked question document to answer the basic questions that might be asked from each session, and also the sample OneNote notebooks. I shared these documents with the participants through a folder in Office 365. As a result of the intentional delivery of each workshop and the resources I provided the participants, Teachers involved in the workshops express greater confidence with understanding how to effectively integrate OneNote into their day-to-day -day lessons and collaborative sessions. Teachers became more confident throughout the course of the project in sharing ideas on how OneNote could be used in their classroom to help students master content and standards within their course. This is a screenshot of the sample OneNote notebook that I created for the student collaboration using OneNote session. All teachers were given access to this OneNote notebook and were able to refer to it throughout the session and after the session. One of the initial challenges of the project was finding a time to hold the coaching sessions to accommodate the schedules of all participants. Fortunately, my colleagues were very flexible and made time to come in prior to school on the days that the workshops were to be held. The greatest barrier of the project took place at the beginning of March of 2020, when the COVID-19 pandemic forced all schools to go virtual. Beginning in March, all workshops and one-on-one -on -one sessions took place via video chat on Microsoft Teams. When the COVID-19 pandemic occurred, two teachers from the seventh grade reading department had heard about the sessions that I was holding and asked if they could join. These teachers participated in the sessions through the duration of the project beginning in March. I also was able to provide to them all of the resources in the shared folder that all other participants had received. The participants met with me via Microsoft Teams for the workshop sessions that took place from March to May. Even though it was not the in-person coaching that I had planned for, my colleagues were great in helping to work with me to adapt. Fortunately, the resources that I had created, including the PowerPoint, screencasts, and frequently asked questions handouts, lended themselves well to being delivered virtually. This project was such a valuable experience for me. I grew so much as a coach and getting the opportunity to plan a series of workshops from the ground up was incredibly rewarding. I realized the importance of having a clear objective in place when beginning to plan a project of this magnitude. Janinger explains in their research that key factors of professional development include being content focused, collaborative, using modeling as a strategy, and providing opportunities for feedback for participants. I believe that all of these factors were in place throughout the work on this capstone project. As teachers, we must be flexible because things change on a dime. This was incredibly prevalent throughout the work on this capstone project. Having to shift from a face-to-face -face workshop setting to a completely virtual workshop setting taught me that I have the capability of delivering meaningful professional development as long as I myself have a clear understanding of the resources and technology tools that I am coaching on. 
I look forward to continuing to find new ways to help teachers gain confidence with technology integration in their classrooms. Continuing to have conversations with administrators, teacher leaders, and other stakeholders will be important moving forward in helping to provide the most effective resources and strategies for all faculty and staff within my school.